Hello and welcome back to our lessons. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your chatbot flow for your Facebook advertising. I have already created a flow here and this is the flow that we're going to use for our Facebook ads. And I have also prepared a Facebook advertising account and we are going to use this as well for our Facebook ads. So let's create our first campaign here and we are going to use messages. We used messages here because we want to redirect our users to our messenger chatbot. Now let's click continue here. All right, we are now under the Facebook ad campaign configuration, but I'm not gonna dive or gonna discuss how you can configure your campaign because that is not our topic here. Um, just make sure that your campaign objective is under messages. So configure your campaign accordingly. And next, we are now under the ad set configuration. For messages objective, you would want to use the click to message here. And after that, use the messenger as your messaging ad. Next, we are going to use the Facebook page that we used when we build our flow. In this example, I used the Chuck's Burger Facebook page. That's why we are going to use this. And then configure your daily budget and your targeting. And after that, click Next. All right, now we are under the ad configuration. Let's just choose this option under the Instagram account. And again, make sure that the Facebook page you are using here is the same Facebook page that you use to build your chatbot. Let's name this campaign as my FB ads MMIO chatbot. All right, to configure your ad to use your MMIO flow, just go down below and you would be able to see here the message template. I'm not going to discuss further how you can configure your ad creative because that is not our topic here. So after configuring your ad creative, you can now go to message template and this is where you are going to connect your MMIO chatbot to your Facebook ads. Under the message template make sure that if you have not created a message template yet then you can create a new message template and then click the start conversations options here and then click edit it's now time to configure our message template here i'm gonna add text and image and then I'm going to upload my image here. All right, after uploading my image, I can now click continue here. Now that we have an image, we can configure now our text. All right, so I have already configured the image, the image title and the subtitle, and I have already configured the text as well. Now, this is where we connect our message template to our MMIO chatbot. There are three types of connection here. We can use the FAQ, we can use quick reply, and we can use use buttons. In this example, I'm going to first use quick replies. When using quick replies, we would need to add an automated response. Now for the automated response, we are not going to use text. Instead, we are going to use connect your bot option here. After selecting the connect your bot under the automated response, we need to provide the bot payload. Now, where do we get the bot payload? And the answer is the bot payload is available on your MMIO flow. So let's go back to our MMIO flow. And all right, we are now on our flow. So let's analyze our flow. This is actually the first message that this flow is going to send. And next, it will send this image. And after that, it will send this menu option. So on Facebook ads, since we have already configured the first image here, all we need to configure now is the menu option. So that's why under the Facebook ads, what we need here is to send the option here under our check our properties and another option contact us. So let's edit this and we are going to copy the quick reply button text and instead of I'd like to learn more, we are going to add check our property. And if we go back to our flow, this check our properties quick reply option is connected to this flow. So this is the flow that we are going to send after our subscriber click the check our properties quick reply. So to connect, simply click the copy bot payload ID. Again, this is the bot payload ID that's needed to connect your MMIO flow to your Facebook ads message template. So click this one to copy the bot payload ID and then go back to your Facebook ads and here paste the bot payload that we have copied from our flow. So if the user clicks the check our properties quick reply here, the user will then be redirected to this bot payload 
ID, which is actually this message. Here are some properties you might be interested in. And after that, the user will be sent with this carousel. All right, now we are going to add another quick reply here, the contact us. So just copy this and go back to your Facebook ads and we are going to add quick reply. And on the suggested reply, we are going to paste the quick reply label that we copied from our flow. And same as earlier, we are going to use connect your bot. And on the bot payload ID, since this contact us quick reply is connected to this text. So let's go down below. It is actually connected here. We are going to copy the bot payload ID and paste it on our message template. So copy this, go back to your message template and paste the bot payload ID here that we copied from our flow. You can add more quick reply here, but since all we need now in this Facebook ads is just two quick replies, then it's now configured properly. We can now preview this in Messenger. So click preview in Messenger and let's try out our bot. All right, our test message is now ready for preview in Messenger. So let's go to Messenger and this is the test message. Welcome to my business real estate. And then this is the image. This is the image title and the subtitle and these are the two quick replies that we set earlier if we click the contact us quick reply it will redirect us to the bot payload id or the message that was connected here so as you can see get in touch with us and this is the address and if we go check our flow this is the message or the text element that was connected to the button here okay this is the button where this text is connected now let's try the check our properties quick reply so to do that simply test again by clicking preview in messenger and let's go back to messenger again and we should receive the test message this time we are going to click the check our properties quick reply and it should trigger the carousel message that was connected to this quick reply so this is the carousel message okay very good now let's go back that's just one type of connection okay so we have already discussed how to connect your chatbot using the quick replies now let's try to use the button connections with the button connection it is actually almost Almost the same as the quick reply but instead of quick reply the Facebook ads under the messenger would render a button now let's try how it looks so click add button here under our chatbots quick reply so we are going to copy the check our properties go back to our chatbot so we are going to copy the check our properties label here go back to our message template and add the text here and then under the action we are going to choose send post back so here we are prompted to provide the bot payload ID. And same as quick reply, the bot payload ID can be taken by simply copying the bot payload ID from the text that was connected here. So this is the text that was connected. So I'm gonna click copy bot payload ID and paste it here. Since we need two buttons, we need to add another button here and go back to our message and copy the contact us quick reply and add it on the button text. Then for the action, use the send post back action and same as before we are going to copy the bot payload that was connected to this flow so the bot payload is actually the text that was connected to that quick reply button so we need to copy this bot payload ID because this is the message that Facebook ads will send if our subscriber clicks the contact us button all right that's very easy we now have configured our two buttons and added the bot payload we can now check this by clicking the preview in messenger and then go to our messenger. All right, this is the test message. And as you can see, instead of using quick replies, our message is now using buttons. So let's try to click the check our properties button. All right, it successfully redirected us to the carousel. You might remember that this carousel is connected to the check our properties quick reply. So this is the carousel that was sent. And this is the first message that was sent after the user clicks the check our properties. And this is the bot payload ID that we provided under the button message template. And now let's try again. Simply click the preview in Messenger. Click OK. And this is the test message. This time we are going to click contact us. Great. We now received the message that was connected to that bot payload ID. So that is a very very simple way how you can connect your Facebook ads to your Messenger chatbot. In the next video, we are going to discuss more how you can connect your Facebook ads to your MMIO chatbot using the frequently asked questions, the JSON under the advanced settings, and also using the M.me link. So stay tuned on our next video.